Ada for telling my brother his perfect woman speech was creepy? I'm a 20-year-old female and my older brother Adam is 38. He's one of those men who listen to incels online and say horrendous things about women. My parents, both 63, adore him. He's their beloved son and favorite child, they enable him through everything and feed his ego three meals a day. My brother and I both had the option of our parents paying for college, I happily took it while he didn't, he stuck to the family business and lived his life free of everything, and honestly that's totally okay. As I mentioned before, he's 38 years old and unmarried. This is perfectly normal and not an issue. He has never been a loner or excluded from social circles, in fact, he's had around 50 girlfriends from high school until now. One night, as we were all having dinner with some of our family visiting, my brother expressed that he wants to get married soon. I was so happy for him and immediately smiled. My father asked, to who? And he went, well, she doesn't know yet, but I have my eye on this girl Ella next door, the blonde one. She's smoking hot and absolutely gorgeous. The table was filled with a bit of confusion and some support. I reacted differently, I asked him, Ella next door? Isn't she 19? He seemed confused and asked me what the big deal was, to which I replied, she's younger than me, you were already 18 when I was born. His response is what made my already insufferable brother look worse to me. He said, men get their lives together, and when around my age and successful, we want new me to have children with who carry our line on, real young women who are fertile. I told him this was weird, creepy, and a twisted way to talk about women. I got trashed by my parents. He went on to ask Ella out, and obviously, she rejected him. According to my parents, he was persistent, and she told him, weren't you like 19 when I was born, weirdo. Now they suspect that somehow I am the mastermind who brainwashed and told Ella to reject him because of what I said during dinner, since nobody would really reject their perfect boy. They are blowing up my phone, waiting for me at my job, asking for me at my college so that I can fix what I did to make Ella say no and make her say yes. I've never talked to that girl, and I'm glad she didn't put up with his bullshit, though. There is nothing to fix, I've done nothing. My mom is asking me to publicly apologize to my brother at a little party they're having this weekend because, thanks to me, our family has labeled him a creep and it probably got to Ella. I don't want to do that. My mom is saying stuff like when I won't be here, you'll remember what you did to me. My dad says he regrets having a kid so much later than his first because I have no manners and am embarrassing. I'm telling them it's human decency to understand Adam is creepy, but they're calling me a hater and demanding I apologize or they'll cut contact. I did not apologize and I brushed it off because I thought what I did was completely reasonable. Things sort of died down for about a week and I thought it was over, but then my parents pulled me aside to talk seriously about Adam. It was not what I was expecting. My parents informed me that my brother had been harassing Ella on social media, making posts about her and threatening her boyfriend, who Adam just found out through tags and mentions. I hadn't contacted them much in the last three to four days, so I wasn't really caught up with his drama. They also asked Ella if she had talked to me, and she told them the truth, that we've never spoken to each other. Ella threatened a restraining order because my brother can't handle rejection, so you can imagine how that works when they live next door. Her parents are apparently furious, and mine decided to ask the priest at our local church for his opinion, since he disagreed with their behavior and they're very religious, they have backed down a bit. However, the real reason my parents are mad at me, according to my dad, is the family pride. I honestly don't even want an explanation on what that means. My mother told me she still hates me for what I did. My father said that he wants no contact with me for shaming the family in front of others and disagreeing to apologize. Since the priest disagreed with them, to save family pride and reputation, they've given my brother a few months to move to his own place that they'll pay for. This came as a shocker to me. My mom said that if I wasn't jealous of my brother, it wouldn't have to come to her baby boy leaving the nest. I reminded her that he's almost 40, and she started screaming, so my dad had to take her and leave. I'm not sad about the no contact situation. I know that it was very impulsive to explode in front of others, but I didn't want any of the younger people around the table to think that's okay because it isn't. It's objectifying and humiliating. I have a job, an apartment, and plenty of friends. I won't be lonely, and I won't be grieving the fact that my parents don't want me around. It's their choice.